Hey guys, it's Jen LaForge. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad that you're here today. Today, I'm gonna be bringing you a review of something we did a couple years ago that we will never forget, and that is Disney's Fine Arts Photography. And I'm glad that you're here. So you may never even have heard of Disney's Fine Arts Photography. I don't even know that I knew that it existed, but this is actually Walt Disney World's private photography service. This is not the same as Memory Maker. This is actually a photo session with you and your family with a Walt Disney World photographer and their team. My sons were getting ready to begin their senior year. We were getting all of those things that you get for uh, the different photo packages. And as I looked into them, they were ridiculously expensive. I mean, we're talking six, seven, eight hundred dollars and that didn't even include the photos, right? You still had to purchase the photos in addition to all of that money that you were paying. And with two kids and them starting their senior year and also looking at paying for college, we were looking for ways to economize. So normally you would not necessarily think of the words economize and Walt Disney photography in the same uh, sentence. <laughs> But I started looking into this as an alternative. We already had a family trip planned for November, so it worked perfectly with the schedule. And I thought, hmm, you know what? I am gonna look into that. So I got on their website, which I will link below in the show notes if you're interested in looking into it for yourself. And I was happily surprised with the prices that I found. Now, the packages range in price. You can do a mini photo session. Um, go to the website. I think the least expensive package is $225, and that's literally like a 15-minute uh, photo session with a private photographer. The package we chose, however, is called the Enchanted Portrait Package, and it is $499. For that $499, you get a one hour photo session in a location of your choosing within Walt Disney World. That can include Epcot, Animal Kingdom, Hollywood Studios. You pick where you want to do it. Uh, we chose to do it at Animal Kingdom. And while I'm talking about it, I'm gonna be interspersing different photos so you can see kind of what the experience was like and how amazing the photographs came out. We chose Animal Kingdom Lodge because even though we were doing the photos at Disney, these were for their senior pictures. I didn't necessarily want them to scream Disney, and we also wanted someplace that would be a little bit quieter, uh, and we were actually staying at Animal Kingdom Lodge for this trip, so that worked out really conveniently. They sent me quite a few emails ahead of time letting me know that the boys could pick a change of clothes. I had a phone call from the office just to make sure that I felt comfortable with everything. And the big thing about that price you pay for that $499, you get the one hour photo session at the place of your choosing. Oh, by the way, that's up to 40 people in that photo session. So we did it just for the twins uh, senior photos, but obviously if you were had a big family reunion or a group of people, or you just wanted to do your family, I know people that have done it at the yacht club and the beach club, great backdrops, by the way, for pictures. You also get for that $499, all of the digital images. And here is why it was so much of a better value than if we had done the traditional senior photo package. The photography companies that are here in our town wanted this ridiculous sitting fee and then I had to purchase the pictures. And if I wanted all of the digital copies of the pictures to do with what I wanted, we were talking well over a thousand dollars. And that money I paid for Disney Fine Arts Photography came with, right in this package here, a disk drive right here that actually contains all of the full size digital pictures. So these are not like just thumbnail size pictures. These are not just for sharing on social media. These are the full size pictures that we could enlarge. I could make an 11 by 14 photograph if I wanted. They're that high quality. And I love that it came in this really neat kind of um, keepsake. I'll show you guys so you can see it came just like that. So price wise, I was like, okay, I'm actually saving money and I'm going to get to do a photo session with both of them in a place that they both love. Um, it was important to me that we did, of course, a lot of photos with them individually. And then I did definitely want some photos of them together. If I had wanted, uh, we actually had time. I could have easily had photographs done with all five of us, but the morning of this photo shoot was just, uh, Scott and Jack were not feeling it and I wasn't gonna push anything. And I was like, okay, this is really about the twins. So let's just have it be about them. 
We arrived at Animal Kingdom a little bit early from our assigned time and our photographer and his team were actually with another family and they were doing adorable shots there in the lobby of the Animal Kingdom Lodge. So we waited for our turn and it was our main photographer, I think his name was Dave, um, his assistant Meg, who I'm actually still friends with, um, we connected on Instagram and she was an absolute doll. And then another assistant that was also great. So we had a three person team taking care of the boys. They had professional lighting, they had an amazing setup, and they just had this great energy about them. They were really made the boys super comfortable. It's, you know, it's kind of awkward, especially when at the time they were 17 and you're just kind of feeling oogie about things, but they were so great with the boys and really got them laughing and smiling. They took us all over Animal Kingdom Lodge. We did quite a few shots uh, inside the lodge. We did quite a few shots outside. The boys did have a change of clothes, but we ended up not uh, utilizing that. They just ended up like taking off jackets and things like that. But the hour was really well utilized. I felt like they were so on top of everything. Whenever we changed locations, they were so uh, you know fast to set up the lighting and it, it it really it felt like a professional well of course it was professional but i mean it felt like we were movie stars right we we really felt like we were the center of attention when i say we i mean them i didn't have them take my picture but we laughed a lot we felt very comfortable and at this point all i knew was that this was a great experience very professional very well run and i felt like we were in the hands of a master photographer so after the photo session um, i think it was about two weeks later i got the digital downloads right away and then it took a couple of weeks for this one to show up and once i started looking at the pictures you guys i was just floored by how great they came out i could not have been happier and again i didn't have to go through a bunch of proofs and pick pictures that i wanted i owned every single picture that they took so i just wanted to share that with you guys today and let you know um people that i have heard of doing it, it like i said is everything from of course like a wedding or an anniversary also a family reunion if you just want to go down and do your family pictures i know a lot of people do it um, you know at the beach club there and in front of the water is a really beautiful setting and of course you can do any of the theme parks um, i just talked to my friend allison wdw girl i know that their family did one in epcot at the uk pavilion that was really really special so you do need to keep a couple things in mind if you're going to go into one of the theme parks everyone that's going to be part of the photography session does need to have valid theme park admission for that day you do want to book it pretty far in advance. Um, we booked it on a day that was kind of a resort day for us uh, because it does take some time. It's not, of course, just the hour that you're doing the photography. You have to plan on getting where you're going and, you know, making sure everybody is camera ready and all that sort of thing. Really look into kind of what you want everybody to wear. You're going to want to, you know, you don't need to do matchy matchy but you definitely want people to coordinate you don't any want anyone to clash and all of that if you're looking for a really special memento if you're going to disney for a special occasion i cannot recommend enough disney fine art photography as i said i will put all the information um, in the show notes below i hope this was helpful i hope you enjoyed it if you have a special occasion coming up if you're thinking about doing it for your kids senior photos especially if you already have a trip to Disney World planned, right? It really can be a tremendous value. Could not have been happier with our experience. I hope this was helpful. If you liked this video, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell notification so that you don't miss a thing. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.